Jesus has given us two stories of missing let me say, items or missing things. So in these two missing stories, one, um, the sheep could make noise to alert his, let me use the word, his master, uh, his shepherd, where he is. You know, the sheep can tra- attract attention by the noise to make. The other one, the coin has no voice, so it, whatever it fell, it will depend on providence because it cannot make any noise to attract the owner to find it. The beauty about these two stories is that Jesus, the good shepherd, the one for whom we are here this morning, will still come after those who have voices and those who have no voices. Even if life has thrown you, said that you are shouting for help and nobody is hearing you, you can't even make that noise, you know, whatever it is, has sunk you that deep that you can't make any noise on your own and you feel helpless, like the lost coin, the master will still come and find you. If life has put you to the other side where you are trying to say, help me, save me, Lord, and you have that voice to shout for that help, Jesus is saying that he is coming for you. So wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Your location doesn't matter. But this is the beauty you have in these two missing stories. But he made a very good comment. Paul did that in Romans, uh, in Philippians, and that was read to us. That, you see, he counts everything, every gain as loss. These days, excuse my example, if, if you have so much of our, our own currency, and you happen to convert it to some other higher currency, your gain in the CD becomes a loss in the higher currency. Why? Why? Because the new currency is a higher one. So it is the same picture. Because we are changing from what is not in what is inferior to Jesus, who is superior. When we bring our gains to Jesus, we are counting back what? As loss. That is the new dimension of life we are giving in Jesus. Whatever I bring before him, it is nothing. It is he that we need. Let Jesus give you the weight of your life. Let Jesus give you the value of your life. And then every true gain become a gain for you for life. Amen.